Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will learn how to make easy mountains in Blender and this video is going to be a part of my Blender easy tutorial series. But first, if you are new here or haven't subscribed already then please subscribe and if you want the finished blend file you can get it on my Patreon as well as on my Gumroad page. Well back to Blender. Delete the cube and the lamp. If you don't have the landscape add-on enabled then first go to edit, preferences, add-ons, type in landscape and enable it. Now shift A, select landscape. This is the default landscape which I don't want. So in operator presets, select mountain 1. Change random seed to 5. Yeah, it's looking nice. But I will be changing its offset and height a little bit. You can even play with other settings as well if you want. I'm going to scale it up now. You can either directly scale it up or tap to go to the edit mode and S4 to scale it up for Blender units. Back to object mode. Now go to the modifiers tab, select subdivision surface, increase viewpoint level to 2. Now we are going to add another modifier. This time select this place. You can see it's looking all wobbly now. Reduce its strength to like 0.012. It's enough I guess. Now click on new. Click on the textures tab. Switch type to Moss Grave. Change Multifractal to FBM. Lacunarity to 1. Well, I totally don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but at least you all know what I'm saying. Now, Octaves to 2.5. Scroll down. In Colors, you can either increase Brightness to 2 or you can also leave it at 1. It's your choice. Now go to the shading tab, click on new, shift A, bring in a color ramp, then separate RGB and now bring in the bump node. Connect color to color, blue channel to factor, connect normal to image. Drag the black slider to its right. Now bring the white slider closer to the black one. And remember the closer it gets, the thicker the white color or you can see our snow is gonna look. Lighten up the black color a little bit. Increase the roughness. Well, if you're working on a mobile game or if you want a stylized mountain, or your mountains are way back in your scene then you can even use this one but if you want your model to look even more better for that we will be using textures shift d to duplicate the principal and the material output node i could have used this one instead of duplicating well i'm just gonna delete it click on this material output node to make it active before we go further if you don't have the node wrangler add-on enabled then enable it first Now click on the principal node, press ctrl shift t, another window is gonna pop up and it will ask you to select the textures you wanna use. By the way the links to all the textures will be available in the description. Select the base color, normal and the roughness textures and when we click on principal texture setup, our textures will be automatically set up. See it's so simple. But uh, sometimes it's gonna show some problems like in this case we are facing right now but uh, we can fix it in no time. Shift D to duplicate the roughness node, press 2 to make it unique, switch non-color to sRGB, now choose the base color texture, connect color to base color and also connect it with the mapping node. I will use generated here and we can see the texture is quite big, so increase scale to 15. Eleven is also doing a good job here, but um, I prefer 15. So for the ambient occlusion texture, it's not gonna do a lot for us, especially in this case. But still we can use it if you want, or you can even skip it, totally up to you. Shift D to duplicate the base color node, 2 to make it unique. Shift A, bring in a mix RGB node. 
select the ambient occlusion texture srgb to non color then connect color to factor change mix to add and darken up the white color we can see the difference isn't a lot but uh, it's okay we can use it now for the snow duplicate the principal and the output node click on the output node to make it active now control shift t again to automatically set up the textures uv to generate it and scale to 5 and just like before we can also set up the occlusion texture as well if you want but one more thing we can also directly choose the occlusion texture while selecting the other textures but it has mostly given me an error you can try it if you want darken up the white color a little bit as well Now we have three materials. One is the snow, the other is the rock material, and the third is the mountain shader. What we can do here is to press Shift A and bring in a mixed shader node. Don't connect the mountain shader just now. First, connect the rocks principal node to shader one on the mix shader. and then connect snow to the bottom shader input on the mix shader node now connect the color ramp to the factor input and we can see we have a mountain now if we would have switched their places while connecting the texture to the mix shader node we would have gotten something like this a totally opposite result you can use it for some other stuff but not for this scene you can even also play with the color ramp sliders and have completely different results of your own easily Now I'm gonna use the scene skies add-on to light up the scene or you can totally use any SDRI of your own choice. Control Alt 0 to automatically place the camera at your viewing angle. Focal length to 35. Switch to Cycles Render Engine. One more thing, go to Materials first, in Settings, change Bump only to Displacement and Bump. And now you can render it. You can even increase the subdivision level to 3 if your PC allows it. And when you like the final look, duplicate the model a couple of times, add some more lights and then put your camera at a nice angle and render your final scene. And if you wanna learn more about lighting, camera placement and even compositing, you can check out my this video, it will totally help you a lot. And we are done. Hope you learned something new today and if you did then please like the video and subscribe. Well, this is it for today. See you in my next video. Take care till then. Happy blending.